Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The orbital radius of the Earth, so radius of Earth is 1.5 times that of Venus. So it will be radius of Venus. Now, what is the intensity of a solar radiation at the orbital radius of Venus? Fine. So we, we, we want to find intensity. So first of all, what is intensity? Now, intensity is defined as energy reaching Earth or incident on something divided by area divided by time. So energy divided by time can be taken as the power of the radiant source divided by the area in which that energy is distributed. So if we take the example of a spherical body like that of sun or a bulb, so what happens is all the energy is creating a spheroidal wave front, a spherical wave front is created here as the energy tries to move out of the body like this. So it is a sphere. So when the energy of the sun is getting out of sun and it is going to meet earth, so it is moving in a spheroidal wave uh, front. So the area will be uh, taken as the spherical, the surface area of a sphere. So it can be taken as power divided by 4 pi r squared. From this, I can always say that intensity at Venus divided by intensity on Earth, because P by 4 pi is a constant, I can always say that it will come out to be Re divided by Rv whole square. Now, what is Re by Rv? From here, I can say that it will be 1.5. So it is 1.5 square multiplied by Ie, and the intensity on the surface of the Earth is taken as 1400 watt per meter square. So you can take it as 1400 watt per meter square also or you can be more precise by taking 380 watt per meter square as per what your school or your teacher has told you to take. So you can go with the 1400 also and now <clears throat> on solving this well, you can just multiply it with the help of calculator or if you don't want to go that way, you can uh, try another method like this. And uh, approximately it would be coming out to be 3000 watt per meter square. This value is coming out to be plus 1400, it's 7350. So this value is coming out to be 3150 watt per meter square. So 3150 watt per meter square. And when we convert into kilo, we are using this suffix there. So it will become 3k watt per meter square. So our answer will be D. So this is the explanation for this question. So I think everything should be clear. So if you have any other doubt regarding this, you can always mention that in comment section. This is Professor Varun. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you get the notification when I am, when I am live here. So you can uh, uh, message me on WhatsApp all your doubts. Like these are the doubts that you want. You can WhatsApp me those screenshots at that very time. So all the best.